to torture them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just uh, as we start, we are lucky enough to have our very own Heather giving us a musical introduction on this spring equinox with the opening lines of Beethoven's Spring Sonata. Thank you very much, Heather. Welcome. It's beautiful. And we'll now bring up our presentation and we'll make a, a start. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> uh, hold on one second, please. I got bumped. Here we go. So if if at this point everybody could just mute themselves if you're not already muted please thank you that's very helpful so welcome to the comox valley unitarian fellowship we welcome you all whoever you are, whatever your age, race, faith, or philosophy, whatever your background, identity, orientation, everyone is welcome here. For thousands of years, Indigenous people have occupied the shoreline of eastern Vancouver Island in this place referred to as the Land of Plenty. We acknowledge that we meet here today on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation, and we are grateful. Welcome to our intergenerational third Sunday, where our focus is on spiritual family, on bringing all generations together. And I am Caroline Shannon. I think you all know me, so I run the children's program. And it's my pleasure to introduce this uh, third Sunday gathering today. Happy spring. Our theme for this year is our spiritual sources. So today being the spring equinox, let's celebrate our planet Earth and give thanks for nature. And Barbara is going to kindly read our chalice lighting for us. And I invite you all, if you have a candle or a chalice at home, to light your own flame all together now. Light is returning by Kate McPhee. Around us, light is returning. It rekindles the spirit of life in the skeletons of trees. Mm. It brings forth new shoots from the soil. It wakes us from our winter slumber and invites us to see what lies beyond. We light this chalice in the spirit of our Earth's awakening and to reaffirm our commitment to the value of our home. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, first, some inspiring words from Chief Seattle, which link to our Unitarian sources and the seventh principle of respect for the interdependent web of all existence, of which we are part. Teach your children. Teach your children what we have taught our children, that the earth is our mother. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the children of the earth. 
if men spit upon the ground, they spit upon themselves. This we know, the earth does not belong to us, we belong to the earth. This we know, all things are connected like the blood which unites one family. All things are connected. Whatever befalls the earth, befalls the children of the earth. We did not weave the web of life. We are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. And, uh, and, and rather fun little musical introduction to spring here. All right. Skip. What time is it? I don't know. I'll check. <gasps> it's spring. Wake up. Everybody, it's springtime. Spring is here. 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 Spring is finally here. With the snow and ice no longer seen. The leaves are finally turning green. That's why it's time to sing. much like it today outside but it's true <laughs> spring is here i hope you enjoyed that and a blessing for the equinox <laughs> equinox is upon us it's a time to connect with mother earth and whisper our prayers to the wind lay on her and feel ourselves held and supported gaze at our night sky and like our ancestors before us, look out into our vast universe and breathe in the wonder of this great mystery that is life. Let's open and deepen gratitude, count our blessings, and thank the dark and the light as our teachers in the spectrum of experience. Remember, wherever we find ourselves on this great planet of ours, whether on the northern or the Southern Hemisphere. We are all united as a planetary family. Mm -hmm. Another musical offering. This is a um, pagan song of spring, um, Ostara by Lisa Thiel. Creatures now sing Hope is renewed With the coming of spring We turn from darkness And the wise crone within We turn to the maiden And creation begin It's a time for things growing A time now for flowing of your dream. So 
praise to the spring, praise to all living things, praise to the maiden and the joy that she brings, praise to the earth, let all the creatures now sing, hope is renewed with the coming of the spring. are stirring with the new life returning it's time now for learning what rebirth truly means and we honor ourselves and all the fairies and elves may we dance and ring bells for the coming of the spring so praise to the spring Praise to all living things, praise to the maiden and the joy that she brings, praise to the earth, let all the creatures now sing, hope is renewed with the coming of the spring. So open your heart to nature's wondrous art, it's time now to start. Rabbits abound, and there's flowers all around. The air is filled with the sound of the coming of the spring. So praise to the spring, praise to all living things. Praise to the maiden and the joy that she brings. Praise to the earth and all the creatures now sing. Hope is renewed with the coming of the spring. Thank you. I'm going to do a reading now in honor of our earth. It's called This is Our Earth. It's written by Reverend Mark Bellatini. Uh, it's a little long, so I haven't put the words on the screen. And I will just read it. This is our earth. It falls through heaven like a pearl in a glass of plum wine. There are no other earths that I know of. There are no other skies that we have mapped. This is our earth. The oneness who gave birth to it remains nameless. There was no midwife then to bring us word of the birth cry. We only rejoice that it is. This is our earth. Ice caps its head, glaciers clasp its feet. Warm wind, like the breath of a lover, breathes around its breast. Mountains thrust up to the clouds, bringing joy. Storms blow across its shores, bringing fear. 
silvery fish, capture sunlight and haul it down into the deep as on shore valleys spread with ripening fruit. Cities teem with the poor and disenfranchised in the shadow of golden towers. Children live and also die. Highways throb, monks sit in silence, mothers work, crickets chirp, teachers plan, engineers design, fathers write letters. People marry with and without the blessings of law. People cry, they laugh and brood and worry and wait. This is our earth. There are no other earths. Before its wonder, philosophers fall silent. Before its mystery, poets admit their words are shadow, not light. And all the great religious teachers have left us names, Ishtar, Shekinah, Terra Mater, Suchness, Wakantanka, Gaia, all suddenly refuse to announce themselves. And so we too fall silent, entering the time where words end and reality begin. This is our earth. For our intergenerational activity today, we are going to have three breakout rooms inspired by this quote from Thich Nhat Hanh. All around us, life bursts forth with miracles, a glass of water, a ray of sunshine, a leaf, a caterpillar, a flower, laughter, raindrops. If you live in awareness, it's easy to see miracles everywhere. So we're going to have three rooms. One will be an art room for uh, the children, for me and Satya. One can be a general chat room if anybody would like to just, um, without any particular script, visit with other members of the fellowship. And one is a more structured discussion room with three suggested questions to kick off your discussions. How does nature contribute to your spiritual practice? How can we honor nature this spring on a personal, local, and global level? And what does the return of light after darkness mean to you on a spiritual level? So I think that what we need to do so that Heather is able to put us into breakout rooms is indicate, could we please just have a show of hands from anybody who would prefer to go into a general chat room as opposed to a discussion room? Is there anyone? Um, who at the like bottom where you can see breakout rooms, um, you can click on that and you should have the option to join yourself, I think. Yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so is everybody able to do that? Just to click on breakout rooms and select a breakout room that you would like to join? We've got, we've got five. We've got a few more. If there's anybody who finds that difficult and prefers just to put a hand up so that we can do that for you, that's fine also. I can do like that. Got... Can you do something for me? I can. <laughs> Barbara, yeah, what would you like to go to? Um, you can put me in the um, chat room. Okay. Not join, it says. What do I have to do? Join. Oh, join. Now you're going to have to open your microphone. Yeah, but is that going to affect you? 
And Nina, did you mean to? I think Nina's joining us in our kids' room. Okay. And um, Heather, we'll. I, I think we've got a good twenty minutes for for this, so we can return um, at four forty three. Is that okay for timing? Heather, say maybe 440. Great, thank you. Heather, I can't hear anything you're saying. Mike, did you want to join a particular room? Pardon me? Did you want to join one of the uh, one of the chat rooms? No, I'm fine right here if you want. Wonderful. Good. So we're going to be about 20 minutes. So at about 4.43 or so. Good. We're going to be coming back. Yeah, it's good to see you all. I would have prepared more of the spring sonata had I uh, had I done uh, my homework a little more, but I don't have the piano accompaniment in the background. See, if I had someone playing piano here, that would have worked great. I could have played the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but after D, da 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 da, it goes to da 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 da. Well, the piano plays the theme, so uh -huh. yeah. Beautiful. Oh, I've been, um, I have been putting together my violin studio and it's launched and I've been, uh, digging into some sonatas and concertos and things like that to do a, uh, a Royal Conservatory, um, advanced exam at some point. I don't know when I need to hire a pianist, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting right now for me because <laughs> Like today, I had told Barbara for the first time since my dad died in mid-December, I feel like I have my feet half under me again, you know? Good. It takes a long, long time. So mm. I picked up violin today, and suddenly it was a lot easier. Mm. I mean, I've already played a concert with my orchestra um, last weekend, and it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I had to um, concentrate more and more things didn't fall under my fingers but today it feels great <laughs> so yeah. i'm really thankful for that oh boy how have you been nina i've been fine excellent you can hear me okay i hear you great i can hear you yeah yeah uh, yeah i've been uh, doing quite a lot of activity Today we had a work party here at Creekside. Wow. Keep our nine acres and buildings in shape. So I was sweeping winter gravel and putting it in a storage bin. Nice. And now it's raining, so it's cleaning up our parking area. Um, and Marv and I go for walks most every day excellent all the lovely places we have in the valley mm -hmm. yeah so i'm really grateful that my body works as well as it does yes what have you been up to mike uh i went up for a walk today and um i enjoyed it uh, just before it started to rain just a second oh no problem 
Good. Okay. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I went out and do it. One of the things that I'm uh, deeply concerned about is um, the news that's going on in Europe with Russia yeah. and um, the whole situation is so basically desperate that um, it's hard to understand what to do or mm -hmm. what to think about, except to say some thoughts and prayers for the people that are going through all of this. And um, I don't know, it's just um, trying to put this together uh, doesn't make much sense in terms of what's going on. The other thing I'm going through is trying to write to one of my chronicles that I basically write. And um, that's really dealing with the problem of the conflict between everything we're told when we're trying to deal with elections and everything else like this, or when we're going through this disaster in Ukraine. And then there's a bit of a break for five minutes on the news. And it talks about your health, your job, your mattress that fits with your body, the way you can lose weight, a smell that's really going to enjoy that you can put on your clothes and all of these types of things. Yeah. And it's so much of a shift. And the difficulty I feel 